So hey, we do have the Eight of Swords and we have the Eight of Pentacles. I love Eight because it's um, the um, um, symbol for infinity, right? So forever, but it also meant to be. Um, but of course, the energy is one is the energy of a mental prison. The other one um, is um, the energy of um, positive movement forward. But this is Eight of Pentacles. This is actually a work in focus and learning, right? So it might be um, Capricorn at a time right now where we might be bound to a situation, but in the same time, that is, we are on a learning curve, right? Um, it was meant to teach us something. It was meant to show us something. It was meant to push us, focus focus on something else, you know? Um, some of you, that is a fear of money and stability. Um, we know Eight of Pentacles is also the way we make money. Um, so in this love connection, whatever went wrong might be somehow related to finances and stability too. We do have trapped in fear and spiritual union, right? Um, so that is love for this person. There are still emotions involved. That is an awakening to a spiritual union of some sort. Um, that this is how they felt, right? Um, Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups, discontent and boredom. One uh, was probably heavily involved, the other person was not really paying attention, uh, focused on something else, uh, giving their time to an awakening of some sort. You see, we do have the Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, together is the Nine of Swords. We already know you are a bit concerned here. But at the end of the day, right? That is an awakening, that is an epiphany, that is an Ace of Swords energy. Um, that is coming your way. I love this. Eight of Swords and the Tower. So we are going through a disruption of some sort. We are picking up the pieces right now, rebuilding um, your whole world probably. And the Ace of Swords is the clarity that is um, allowing you actually to build. And the tower again. It's the second time and we shuffled. Uh, trapped in fear and disruption. Maybe you are afraid more of a tower moment. And um, let's see. Maybe that's what prevents you. So every time we see um, an energy twice, we know it's time for us, right? To stop shuffling and move into bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And then we go with death. Death and disruption twice. Okay. Uh, transformation and endings. What do you want me to say? This is um, Scorpio energy. Uh, you might be dealing with the Scorpio, but honestly, through the shuffling, it feels like a sense of release. Uh, we've been bound to this person financially, emotionally, um, definitely um, committed, body, mind, and soul to this. And I'm sensing that that is a that is a release of some sort. It's kind of like the universe released you from your own prison. Um, the prison of the mind, the prison of, of what this relationship might have meant for you. Okay. And in the process, we through all through the shuffling, we had this energy of learning and honing skills and developing something and becoming autonomous and, uh, you know, kind of refining skills. Um, and through transformation, it's a beautiful energy of awakening. So let's see what this is all about. Past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and neutral. Let's have current energies on your side, your personal and neutral. And let's have the possible outcome. I mean, this is over, 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 just through shuffling and um, yeah. Endings and new beginnings, Ace of Swords. Um, I love this and victory. That is a sense of thing God is over. And that is also a sense of now I know better. That is also a sense of I hope nobody will stand in my way now that I know. And now that I have um, lived through the experience. That is also another energy here. And, um, and victory and success. But I, I know, right? It came with uh, disruption. Kind of a tough lesson that the universe put in your way so so that you um, awaken your full potential, right? Past energies, we do have the six of pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity, and then we have emotional loss. Um, probably we might have lost the um, 
um, you know, the material and spiritual prosperity with this person. This is the energy of regrets, of guilt, of feeling responsible. This is the energy of reciprocation that was not given either from that person to you. Either you at some point you said, you know what, for my own sanity, my own sake, I will just, um, you know, uh, resume my kind of um, um, reciprocation and, and caring and um, kindness. You know, maybe I'm going to um, step back a little bit. Um, for some of you, this is the energy of missing this person in the past and, and missing the sense of balance that they brought to your life. Um, it can very well be. Um, a sense of fairness and justice, a sense of kindness, and we might have lost this th through, um, um, I would say, a rude awakening, but in the same time, it has attached to it the energy of victory, so it is in your favor. It is success in in this whatever um, messy situation we are going through, right? And of course, Five of Cups, the energy of I miss you, right? Uh, the energy of I miss you like crazy, and I miss our... Um, kindness together in our balance and how um, the everyday life was right that's the pentacle so now this person of yours how oh good your energy was all over them but we do have uh, the devil and we have authority so I don't know if they call the authorities on you <laughs> in a sense that that is a place of power that is a sense of um, uh, taking control that is a sense of having a plan um, dealing with the whole situation from a place of um, detachment in an analytical mode, um, making sure they um, make the best out of it, and um, and you showed up here, so they might have actually it's um, it's this energy of treating you in a cold way, probably in a fair way because the emperor, you know, has a fair energy attached to it and a sense of responsibility and a sense of. Um, um, you know, this reflects on me, however, the situation was managed. So this, this was kind of their approach, you know, I'm, I'm going to be fair and just because um, it's about me at the end of the day and how I'm, I'm seen and appreciated. So, um, and of course, this is your energy Capricorn, but, th you know, um, that is a sense of struggle on their side. Um, a sense of struggle between temptation and taking control, doing the right thing, and then going back to temptation again. For some of you, this is, um, uh, again, an, um, an energy where this connection might have gone all wrong and in um, all in the wrong direction, right? Um, we have energies of fear all through the shuffling. We had uh, Eight of Swords following us, right? Trapped in fear. In your own mind and maybe because of it we got into dynamics that's the devil right dynamics between people between situations and and this person shows up as really struggling to take control over a situation that might have went um, between the two of you in uh, different ways and speaking of authority and justice we now have justice we have authority with the Emperor Aries energy justice Libra energy um, nine of Swords, Suffering in Silence, and Nine of Wands, Suffering and Self-Protection. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense why we saw the tower a couple of times, right? Um, mental troubles, but also probably legal uh, affairs, legal struggling, divorce, separation, um, and the whole energy of devil, fears, anxiety, uh, loss and spiritual growth and transformation through the whole process. Um, same pain for you, same pain for them. Capricorn, if you're wondering, same sense of uh, we need to change this, same sense of um, how am I supposed to move forward. Um, I need to protect myself from whatever sort of justice was between the two of you. Looks very calculated, so if you are in a divorce of some sort it it it, um, it comes with this energy of calculation and making sure we win on your side and when on their side in the past so um, not in a good place to be for both of you current energies um, Capricorn we do have the seven of swords uh, deception and envy and we have the six of swords moving on 
You know how it feels? It feels like you are cheating yourself out of an opportunity to have peace of mind and healing and moving on. Um, Six of Swords, we know it's all about let me move away from something so that I have some perspective and um, I can use my mind to do it. But because we have the Seven of Swords, that is this energy of maybe you are not telling yourself the true things or the right things. Maybe again the mind um, is not your friend might be the enemy seven of swords is quite a um, um, shady kind of energy and it's related to the mind so some food for thought for some of you is your mind your friend right are you using the right tools are you um, um, keeping um, you know an honest conversation with yourself um, that's another energy here because it's the key to success Overall energy, it is success. But the key to it is the Ace of Swords, truth, right? The Sword of Truth again. Um, you know, and, and can be the harsh truth, right? But it is the truth, and that's, that's how we gain perspective. And we see the situation for what it is. So some of you, you come from a place of mind. Um, but again, is it deployed the right way? Now this person of yours, they are um, defending their peace of mind. We do have them standing their ground with the Seven of Wands. Probably have them blocking you right now. Um, not uh, not being in a um, in an exchange mode, right? Um, seven of Wands with the Four of Swords. This is by excellence the combination of please leave me alone. Okay, uh, Four of Swords rest and rejuvenation this is the silent treatment this is not talking this is the wall and with the seven of wands they are actively prote protecting for now their world it has a purpose of healing it has the purpose of i've decided in the past that this is how i'm going to go by it and this is what they are willing to do that is the synergy of a very strong will uh person capricorn you might be dealing with somebody extremely stubborn but in the same time, I can understand because it comes from a place of suffering in silence. It comes from a place of blocking of blockages of some sort and also an awakening. So they are quite uh, determined, actually, um, to get back in balance. Four of Swords is healing the mind. And it's interesting, they kind of have the same energy. Six of Swords is peace of mind. Four of Swords is healing the mind. So after the Three of Swords. So you kind of have the same energy but they are actively defending their space their um, healing their process their way of doing things while on your side you might have a little bit of interest uh, in uh, looking into um, coping mechanism um, Capricorn mutual energy is between you and this person we do have the moving on energy it's again uh, the energy we have on your side so someone is moving on and the hermit and the other person might be actually feeling lonely looking at the situation learning the lessons going through um, a process again two different energies right in some way and and yet so similar uh, with the six of swords and the hermit and the um leave me alone four of swords is the energy of, her, of the hermit in major arcana so virgo energy but i'm i'm sensing um I'm sensing a need that is su such a need um, to heal the mind by uh, stepping back, by walking away, by putting some distance, by being firm about. So this is the energy right now. You know, somebody is actually extremely convinced that that's the way to go. Um, so, yeah. Let's see moving forward. Moving forward, we do have the Six of um, Cups, Memories of Love. Um, this is being reminiscent about the past. This is being emotional. And the and the Eight of Wands, moving forward, success, project, action, right? Action mode. Um, for some of you, it can be a reconciliation. Six of Cups, we know it's a reconciliation. It's not the main energy. The main energy is one of transformation and the beauty of the mind. Um, but for some of you, it can be, this is what comes your way. By the combination of it, it kind of feels like you're releasing energies and moving away, but also keeping this person dear to your heart, right? This is the energy of, 
I've loved um, him or her. We, we, we had a great time. It was an amazing journey. But it is time for me to get into accelerated motion. Now this person of yours, and it's interesting, they have accelerated motion, you have accelerated motion, they, your person has positive movement forward. We do have the devil again, Capricorn. Your energy is all over them, but of course this person is in a positive movement forward. Somebody wants to find a compromise to work on a... Um, to work on the situation so that they um, can move on and and see some changes happening, right? And of course, mutual energies between the two of you coming your way, it is um, manifesting new beginnings. We have the death, the ace of swords, magician, ace of wands, awareness and new beginnings, passion ignited, um, starting new, seeing, um, you know, looking at the future doesn't mean together, honestly, the whole reading doesn't say it, but it does say that that is a longing for um, for an awakening of some sort, um, for manifesting uh, and putting out um, intent into the world, right? That is the magician. For some of you, it is, I'm, um, you know, it can go from let's stop lying to each other, let's stop blocking and look into new beginnings that we can have together. Um, that is a sense of focus for them, but honestly, the Eight of Wands is the energy of breaking free, and I'm kind of feeling Capricorn that it's um, that awareness coming to you that you know what um, we had quite a journey, but it's time for me um, actually to transform and uh, move on with with um, success. And success it is on your side, right? Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords, so. But that is a desire. Now, um, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to know here. I'm going to use my romance angels and then we'll see the other decks. So we do have Capricorn make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So some of you, oh my God, make the effort and children. Um, I know, and it's something I, I, I deeply disagree, but who am I, right? Uh, because that is this energy here where we make the effort because we have children, right? So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, and then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, that is a sense of, um, in terms of guidance, and please use your better judgment for this, but that is make the effort because, you know, kids are involved and, um... And um, that, that is the reason. And we also have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. We also have bottom of the deck, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So honestly, I'm, um, I, I don't know if you are guided to take this person back. I don't know if you are guided to keep manifesting this person. But that is an effort that you need to make either because we are separating, that is divorce, that is justice. Um, that is the sense of I'm going to go my way, you're going to go your way. But in the process, we need to make a certain amount of effort um, because we have kids, we learn from it and we ask for help. Um, honestly, this is a little bit done. Love is only on your side for now. Um, and I believe this person longs for something that is um, different in his, his or her energy. Let's see what else. So the heart of the matter, Capricorn, that is more going on than meets the eye. So that is something you don't know about this situation. And what you're, see, uh, what you're seeing is actually only, it's only the tip of the iceberg. And it is the divine masculine. So regarding this uh, man of yours, this lover of yours, this soulmate, this husband, ex-husband, a divine masculine, right? The heart of the matter that is more going on than meets the eye. For some of you, they might have somebody. We do have temptation for them in the future. They might be tempted and they might be um, having a, a sensual um, connection with somebody. Ace of Wands is a lot of... Um, of passion and sensuality with the devil, right? 
Capricorn, we do have be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Okay, that is something that you need to tell the truth about. Um, bottom of the deck, I simply love it because it says, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize, Capricorn. And yes, this is a challenge. This is a transformation. This is life throwing you, um, right? Curveballs and stuff. But um, at the end of the day, actually, you are better off, right? So let's see the energies we need to bring back into the flow. And I'm so not surprised we do have change, right? Um, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So yeah, this is, these are changing times for everybody, including yourself. So we need to put uh, back into the flow change, not be afraid of, not be bound to uh, things and situations and people. We do have surrender stress, right? Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So we need to get back to ourselves a bit, right? We lost focus. And actually we, um, we lost compass. Why compass? I don't know. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past then you can own your power and soar into your life. It is a new life here, Capricorn. I don't know if you want it or not. You've transformed in the process. You know better. You now know better. You changed. Um, and it is. Don't be stressed. You know, just um, let go of things that keep you on your knees. And let's allow the change. And money, we saw it at the beginning of the reading, right? Surrender your belief in scarcity. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. And bottom of the deck, we do have surrender to complete healing. This one, we have to let it go. This is actually um, keeping us on our knees and keeping us sick. So open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing and you got in the shuffling a lot of surrender cards so it's kind of usually usually it's a combination of um but now you got surrender stress surrender outdated beliefs about yourself surrender your belief in scarcity and surrender to complete healing it's just all about surrendering to change right it has magic in it Right? Energy coming your way, Ace of Wands, and awareness and um, awakening is above, so below. So we enable, um, you know, we co-construct. And, and then transformation, it's a good opportunity to transform your whole life, actually, through this experience. Um, so Capricorn, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.